What is up YouTube? It is Hollywood Floss, the worst producer of all time, back with another video. In today's video, we got Scalar 2. I know, I know you I have Scalar 2 already. Scalar 2.6. Okay, we're gonna check out what's new in Scalar. They've added some minor adjustments that might be key to keep uplifting Scalar 2 as one of the best plugins of all time but before we go any further make sure you hit that like and subscribe button hit the notification bell so you get any video i upload to the channel we do reviews of vsts effects plugins mini packs sample packs we do cookups and we go live we play your music so you have a platform to all those beats that's just sitting on those computers people can hear them all right so hit that like and subscribe join hollywood floss the worst producer of all time okay so let's get into it plug-in boutique is where you can find scalar 2 if you want to purchase it if you already have scalar 2 the update is free just go to your account and download it but if you don't here is uh if you have scalar 1 you can upgrade for about i'm thinking that's like 20 to 30 dollars and if you don't have it all together just get it for 50 bucks things like 49.99 something like that all right let's go into fl studio and check out scalar 2.6 i'm excited okay so we're at fl studio all right here is how scalar 2 looks now if you didn't know it comes with sounds so you got piano synth guitar hybrid sounds orchestra sounds bass sounds but what wasn't there at first was this 808 bass it was never there it was always just you had to play traditional bass okay so now the 808 is there okay you can go into songs and there's two new chord set categories that come standard now of course we have packs you go to hollywoodfloss.bstars.com i have like kendrick lamar chords or drake chords or future type chords but these are just standard chords that come with it and this one was never there this is a new one right here trap they give you 10 chord sets okay so you can go in there you can get your 808 on just like that so let's see how it sounds and those are trap chords that you can get on with your 808 sound that's dope and then if you want to go even further, you can go to perform. You go into performances and you go into bass. And now they have trap bass sounds like that, like patterns. Hopefully you can hear that. I know it is it's so let me try to turn it up some more. Hopefully you can really hear that to see what is going on. Turn it up all the way. OK, if it goes too loud, I apologize. But. So now you actually have 808 patterns inside of Scalar 2, okay? Don't just push this where it says no bass. You're just going to uh, performances. There's nothing to perform. Don't do that. Don't cut off perform because you're just going to get chord progressions. As you see, bass shouldn't be four notes spread across. The bass shouldn't be chords. They're like single notes. Go to perform, performances the bass part don't go to basic go to the trap if you if you're using it for a trap production see how it's just one note hidden that shows the chord but you're actually it's only hitting down one note so that is key okay so check that out another big one that they've now released is the pop rock oh, i'm sorry not the pop rock the punk rock they now i call this the mgk the machine gun kelly effect okay he's going number one he's in the top charts uh not as a rapper now but as a punk rocker alternative rocker so they say hey let's 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 cover this category as well for this one you can go to your guitar okay and you can also go to an electric guitar in here okay now they're not the best sounds but some of them do work i love the felt piano so some of them do work some of them do help out with your sounds but make sure you're not performing on bass make sure you're performing on either strum because this is new here strum sequences all right you can go slow or you can go fast so we're going to do check out both slow first <laughs> now 
now I am at 154 so let me go down to like 108 because it's supposed to be slow <laughs> And now you have strummed sequences, strum effects. And let's just see how those are when you bring them. Let's see how the MIDI actually looks when you drag it over. Okay, so you actually get like a kind of a guitar feel to it. Already strummed a little bit. Let me zoom in. There's a little bit of space there so it gives that guitar feel. See the little space in between each one to give that strum feel, okay? So pretty dope. Scalar 2 just keeps on adding and becoming the champ, you know, as always, pound for pound king. Okay, let's go to a fast setting. Fast 2. And you can also use um, an acoustic guitar. They've added that, and then the strum sequences, of course, okay, fast or slow, that, that normally wouldn't be in there. And then they've also added this tool chart right here for you to get extra little core, guitar chord, okay, the chord charts, all right? You can get all of that down right here, however you want to be, what kind of, you know, uh, mood you want to be in. You want to be in a banjo mood, you got it, okay? open C mood it is there and then you can change the positions available on the guitar dope work okay let's check out what they have next last but not least of the major okay additions to scalar 2 is they have added and improved the suggest right here down here bam the suggest now suggest was where you were able to take a chord and then if you you know you don't know music theory or you don't know what's what where to go next you kind of got writer's block you take one chord and then the ai or the 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 engine or the algorithm of scalar 2 allows you to suggest and you can create songs from there you can pick any one of them to go okay but at first this minimize the movement wasn't there now let's look at that so you hit this one now look at the top where the piano is, you see the chord of E major. But then sometimes when you go to E major, then B major, look where B major is at, okay? It's all the way down on the key to the right. So look how far the movement is. But when you press minimize movement, now you're going from, you're playing your E major, and it's not so far down, okay? Alright, that's the key to getting that in. Now you want to go from a different, you want to suggest this one. So it's right there. So you got it right there and then it's going to be right there. It's not going to move all the way around. And then this one. They just stay close to whatever you're trying to do. So it actually gives you a, a better feel. Because a real piano player uses voicings and uh, inverted chords. They don't just jump from uh, the bass all the way to the alto or the soprano of the piano. They don't go to higher octaves like that. Doom, doom. It's like a doom, doom. It's a, you're just moving maybe one or two keys. And my real uh, piano players know. No, I'm not a real piano player, but, you know, studying um, theory, understanding that a real piano player is not going to jump from one extreme to the next. So they've added that minimize your movement between chords. And it is very dope, okay? So also... I tell everybody all the time, put that both on. Go to right here, humanize both, and it just gives. And you can just get some good music playing out of that, okay? It's your boy Hollywood Floss. Let me do a recap. So we now have 808 sounds just like a 808 bass sound in scalar we also have 808 patterns in scalar and trap chords punk rock chords 
all right and also guitar movement chords and placement and also minimize movement through the suggest tab all wonderful additions nothing just game change no game changers but just it's like the warrior just adding a little draft piece just to keep the legacy going all right should boy hollywood floss the worst producer of all time let me know in the comments do you like scalar 2.6 or is it just eh, muscle minerals all right remember to be creative be consistent make a beat today should boy hollywood floss the worst producer of all time hit that like and subscribe button until next time peace